What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we got a different video today. Very different video. A niche video. No one's, I don't think anyone's doing this really or publicly doing this. But uh, I've been paying attention to AI for the past few months. Ever since uh, Google dropped VO3. And that was, that that's what really caught my attention. That I, you should probably pay attention to AI. When VO3 dropped, that was insane to see all the realistic videos come out. And stuff like that. So ever since then I started dabbling with uh, AI. It's been like since May or something like that. Since I've been... Um, subscribing to ChatGPT. Uh, I've been using ChatGPT for about a year, but um, really, really doubling down on that. Uh, Grok 4, which I'm not really a fan of. Claude, which is really overpowered. And uh, there's a few other ones, uh, but those are the three main ones. And Google Gemini, which I'll probably talk about too. But yeah, those four, um, they're pretty crazy right now. Except for ChatGPT, I've been having problems all weekend with ChatGPT 5. Uh, it's been really frustrating, actually. But anyway, back to the video. Um, I want to talk about these programs. Have I don't know how to code. Um, when I was little, I'm 27 now. But when I was little, I dabbled with copying code for mine, making Minecraft clients like that. Copying code and pieced it together, whatever. I never actually sat down and wanted to code because it's too tedious for me. I'm a hands-on person, so coding is I I, I really can't grasp it. So. All these tools, they help you make. They help you make tools, basically. All these AIs, you you use them as tools, basically. And uh, I've used them to make to help me expedite the modding process uh, for my mods. So for this one right here, which I released back in May, DDS Converter, um, really a simple program, but it's super strong. So let me explain what this is. Um, I have the prompt right here, back in May, which that I used. Uh, if you guys want me to share that in the uh, description, I'll, I'll be I'll gladly down to share that. See, so show you guys how I prompt ChatGPT to make this program. But anyway, this is how it works. Um, you go over here, you launch this program. It prompts up. There's another. If, for the, if you launch it for the first time, it prompts like another prompt first. Um, but anyways, um, it says enter the input folder path. So my workflow is Substance Painter. And it exports all these files, all these folder files in Substance Painter. You know, you can manually drag them into like paint.net and export them, whatever. It takes super long. So I made this program where I could just copy the folder path. That's the input. And then the output would be right here. And then check this out. It's going to just overwrite it and then add a few files. I got to leave the extra files. Bam. That only took like five seconds. So that was really useful. That's how I've been able to make, that's how I've been able to make these mod, weapon mods, armor mods, because you know, I, they use a lot of textures. Look at all these, I'm not manually doing them one by one, but they use a lot of textures. But anyway, um, I gotta move that. But ChatGPT made that and it, it's just super helpful. But this weekend I had a crazy idea and it's very ambitious. And uh, I kind of been pushing all the AI models to the limits with this one program. I believe it's at 2,000 lines right now, but this one is a portable material editor. Um, we had another we had another version of it which went crazy wrong. I would, oh my god, ChatGPT fucked everything up on that on that other one. So um, anyway, this is the other one. This is the this is something just a concept prototype basically program. You know, you can make material files. Um, I haven't really edited existing material files yet we're still trying to figure out how to get it to export correctly but let me show you we're going to be uh making a material file for this magazine for a uh, gun modded this weekend so i'm just going to hit new material uh we're going to hit two layer standard we're just going to call it new material mag and then uh go to your texture set and i gotta fix all this extra stuff we're having issues right now. I gotta, I gotta remove all these extra texture sets right here. But uh, we're gonna add the color over here. It should be right here. It should be this one right here. We're gonna add the normal, which is this one. And we're gonna select those metalness. This right here. Oh, uh, ambient closing. Uh, do I got that? Yeah, right here. Roughness right here. 
okay so yeah we got those three files and we're going to um save it over here to the starfield data materials folder and just call it new material and i gotta figure out how to actually um we gotta fix the new we gotta fix the create new material prompt and everything because they shouldn't be asking me this again so bam make sure that saves refresh make sure everything saves and then i'm gonna go over here nip scope and we're gonna look for that file and try to add it. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? New material, right here. New material mag, and bam. So yeah, that portable material editor. Uh, it 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 kind of works. Um, but it kind of doesn't work because in the creation kit, we still got, I got to figure out all the kinks and everything. It pops up right here, but it's, it's kind of corrupted. I think, um, uh, if I reload, if I reload the program, uh, give it a minute and it'll finish loading and it'll pop up, but it does, it's not, it's not showing right here in this texture set section. So, uh, yeah, I pushed AI to limits this weekend with this program, and we are at <laughs> we were over two thousand lines of code. Then the AI started tripping, and then uh, things took some stuff out, and then uh, yeah, materials were loaded successfully. So we got it right here. And sometimes if it, if the material file is like corrupted, the material the creation kit will just crash. It won't get open until I delete that material file. So you can see right here. Okay, the new error is layer one. Is missing a UV stream. So it's missing this apparently. It, it's it's so weird. That's uh let's refresh it one more time. See if anything. So I gotta figure out the full process. Since I I I kinda had this idea of reverse engineering some stuff because past few months I've been reverse engineering another video game from like 20 years ago and so that's what kind of led me over here to reverse engineer a little bit of, of this uh these files and uh the AI has been really really helpful with that because I'm not trying to I'm not trying to spend a couple years learning reverse engineering to be honest with you guys um so once that finishes let's see what happens now once I refresh this so all materials were loaded successfully. So this UV stream appears now, but the files still don't appear for some reason. And is that the right shader type? I don't think it is. So yeah, it, it, it's gonna take a lot of tinkering a lot of tinkering because we still have to um, get it to export correctly. I don't even know what I even set this as, to be honest with you guys. Let me see. I think I set it as one layer. So, yeah, I kind of see the problem right there. It's importing the it's importing the ROM with um, shader model, so we got still gotta do some, uh, some do some little tweaks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, AI is really powerful right now. Uh, with this launch of ChatGPT five, it's been really shitty for me. The uh, AI has been hallucinating, hallucinating a lot. I'll show you a few prompts. I've been kind of ambitious. So quick, quick little edit. Uh, the other day, this guy claims he's legit. He works at OpenAI. He wants to know about my prompt. Uh, Cause I posted it on Reddit the other day, and it went a little bit viral in the post. And he says it's a bug, yada yada yada. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Somebody from OpenAI DM me on Reddit. Pretty cool. I sent him a few prompts uh, that I showed you guys, and he didn't get back to me though. But uh, I was really curious. I was hoping he'd get back to me about what he thought about those prompts. Anyways, I'll come back to the other video. It was really helpful in this first prompt, and then we get to. 
you know, I, I'm, like, I'm like, I show, I show the program we made. I'm like, hey, how can we get rid of these stuff? And it, completely wrong answer. Completely wrong answer. I'm like, what the hell? Try it again. Actually, kind of different. Gives me the same answer. I don't know what's going on with ChatGPT5. And then also sometimes I'll, I'll give it some more instructions and a new prompt. This was really wild to me. This was really wild to me this weekend. It pissed me off yesterday. I thought for seven minutes, this is G, this is GT, GPT-5 thinking. So, uh, it thought for seven minutes, did all this bullshit. And at the, end, at the end of the thinking process, it prints out high and it says this bullshit. It says, it says, it just says bullshit. So I don't know what's going on with GPT-5. Um, uh, so we're kind of bouncing around trying to, you know, get this program going together. But yeah, anyways, yeah, AI, these AI models could really, really help you with making um, modding tools, basically, is what I'm trying to get this video. So if you're not a, a coder, but you you need, you want, you have an idea for a program you want to make to help you, you know, make your mods, whatever, um, put a prompt into GPT-5 or Claude, specifically, probably Claude would be better. And because you can upload, you know, reference files stuff like that, and uh, you know, Claw will, will damn near one shot your program and get it working. GPT five would like say some bullshit. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I just want to make this quick video because this is really awesome. We're working it all weekend, and they're playing Battlefield Battle five, Battlefield six. So, yeah, give it a shot, guys. If you have, so if you subscribe to any of these AI models, give it a try. I really, I highly recommend it. And that's gonna be it for the video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.